Swati and welcome back to the last session in facing an interview with Dr. Pakuri Borwa. Now the whole concept of going in for the interview, there's one basic thing which is very important. The way you look, right? So the way you dress becomes very, very important. And today I'll give you some small tips about how to dress properly to the interview in such a manner that the people will love the very look of you and half the battle will be won. Let me start with the very basics. Let's start with the women or say the girls or the ladies who go in for the interview. Now, when you go in for the interview, it's very, very necessary that you should wear a beautiful smile on your face. But that's not enough. Let me start from the beginning. Let me start from the head. Say, for instance, from the head, even your hairdo should be perfect. They should be cleanly, you sh your hair should be cleaned up, properly done up. If you have long hair, properly tied into a knot perhaps. And that gives you a very professional look. But if you have your hair frizzy and you, you're like, you're falling onto your face, all that gives you a very unprofessional and untidy look. And no employer would want an untidy person in his group. Therefore, you're starting from the hair. The hair should be done up very well, such that it looks neat. For the uh, second thing about the girls, let's come on to the ears there. Now, when we are talking about the ears, we need to just have ear drops might be, or just might be a stunt might be. We should not use danglers and, you know, we have these things coming up in town now, like the red and the blue and the colorful hangings that you have for danglers. Complete no-no. You should look professional means just a stud might be. Yes, only a stud that gives you the perfect professional look. About your face now. When you're talking about your face, your face needs to be very nice and you try and avoid a lot of foundation on your face because that gives you, it should not in fact give you a very artificial look. You, it should have a very natural look and you should have it carry a very very natural look on your face the lipstick for instance should not be very loud it should be something that melts and adds to your beauty that melts with your face it's a continuity with your lipstick and your face it should should not be dark stark red there blood red there so normally it's a better idea to go in for say a very subtle color or might be a light shades of brown Coming to your neck piece, it should be a single line, say a gold, gold or golden neck necklace without any studs, uh, without any pendants. But above all this, what's important is what you wear. The sari, for instance, is the perfect choice in an Indian market or the perfect choice in an Indian interview. See, you know, we are talking about saris that you should be careful that the sari is the best option is always a cotton sari or a silk sari with a light shade. One good option is white with little flowers of, say, black. What I'm trying to say is something that, that doesn't catch the attention too much of the interviewer. So when you go in for the interview, you should look professional. Light colors, better still white and black, or say shades of brown, they look good on everybody. So you should be, even your, even your pallu, even your plates should be done up well, with a, secured with a you know, safety pin. These are small intricate things which you need to remember when you're walking into the interview. Because the first thing that they see is you as a person. And uh, an Indian always looks best in a sari. The sari done up very well, your head held high and you walk with that, you know, you carry your big bag for instance, avoid a backpack. This also goes in for the boys also because normally the boys love taking backpacks. We have the folder in hand. We have a small little bag, right? And of course, someone who's walking straight is an impression to make, right? So even for your bangles, be very careful not to wear too many bangles. Might be avoid a bangle, just a um, watch is sufficient. It looks good, just a single bangle or so. Otherwise, you should not be wearing bangles from here till here so that when you talk and you gesticulate, they make all the sound that they can. Avoid it completely. 
So just it's better to stick to a watch and a very single, if you are not very com comfortable without the bangles, just a single uh, bracelet or so. But it should not be very, you know, loud or very what you call that. It's like, you know, something that attra attracts the attention of the person who is talking to you more. It should be something like all your attention, all the attention of the person who is interviewing you should be on your face and not on your hands and anything else. Right. So we go down to our, say we're talking about the shoes. Be very careful to wear shoes which are polished. And if you're going by your slippers or your heels, whatever, be very careful. It should not be something that's new and something that pinches. So you're very comfortable. Your, all your concentration is only on your interview. It might sound very, very silly, but these things are very important. I remember when as a, a fresh graduate, I always had a sari that was ironed and kept for my interview. Interviews, in fact. And when you approach in for the interview, it's very important to carry the professional look. Let's now move on to the boys. Now we're talking about boys. Similarly for the boys from the hair, if we talk about the hairdo, it should be properly done up. No frizzes and nothing like that. Right? It should be, again, very, very professional. The boys, for the boys, the trousers and the shirts, for instance, it's very important that they are, you know, the, the color that's very Something that, that goes for the interview is normally a white uh, t-shirt, sorry, white shirt, full length shirt and a trousers, black one, navy blue ones, those look good. If you can wear a tie, very good, right? So you should be very careful, you do not pleat up, it has to be full length. If you are going in for the full length, should not be pleated up. Even for your shoes, be very careful, you should wear shoes which are very shining and sparkling, right? They should be formal shoes. You're wearing formal trousers. You're not wearing your jeans to the interview. And when you sit down, it should be such that your trousers do not show much of your, um, the, what do you call, the socks there. It's the best idea to go in for a black pair of shoes and white socks, stockings there, stock socks there. But be careful that they should not show when you're sitting down. So the length of your trousers is also very, very important. So apart from that, it's as I told you in all my earlier sessions on the interview, facing the interview, that you have to be very confident. You should not go to the interview with this idea that this is the last interview on earth. This is just a chance. You should have this thing in your head that the perfect job is always waiting for you. You should not show that craze in you that if I do not get this job, I will not get any other job on earth. Further, please never tell the people on the board that if you do not give me this job, someone's going to die in my house, I have a whole family to look after. Nobody is concerned about that. What they're more worried about is getting somebody who is perfect for that particular job. Right? So it is not, you are, the, that person on the board or the people on the board are not your relatives. And therefore, be careful, be confident, walk in confidently and talk properly. Tell whatever you know honestly. If you do not know something, just own up. I'm sorry, I do not know this. And never ever get irritated and angry. There might be people asking you absurd questions like what is the weight of an elephant? Now you shouldn't think why the hell are you asking me this? You can very well tell, right, okay, fine, I did not have any idea this was going to come for my interview. So I'll necessarily go back and look into the question. And of course, be, have more knowledge when I come back about it. Things like that. It's very important that they are, you should know that they are looking for people who can handle any sort of tension, any pressure situation. Therefore, they might ask you questions not at all related to your job. In fact, in many of the interviews, you do not ask your questions related to your job at all. Or whatever you've studied, the huge syllabus that you've covered to cross your examination barrier. 
they just ask you anything and normally um, from my knowledge i remember or i can tell you that very few people on the board will actually from be someone with a background with your from your background or you can say someone who has done that much of studies as you in your particular field therefore be confident walk in confidently and try to answer everything very positively therefore remember one more thing that they are looking for somebody who is confident someone who can handle any pressure situation and somebody who has positivity in him or her so before concluding one more thing i just wanted to remind you that it is very important to wear a light perfume or a deodorant you should not only look good but you should smell good as well never ever chew a bubble gum when you go in no tobacco nothing on your in your mouth be very decent you should also smell good therefore for the ladies it is important that you wear a very light and floral sort of a perfume and it's a good idea to invest some money in a bottle of good perfume that will last and last and even for the boys some light perfume which will show your in fact remember one thing whatever you wear as a perfume also shows a lot about your personality a very strong perfume should always be avoided in in interviews because that it gives out all negative vibes about your personality i hope you had a fun session with me and i hope i have cleared all your doubts about facing an interview if there's something that's left out that has been left out do let me go uh, let me know in the comment section so that i can get back next time thank you so much